this video, I'm going to show you how to prove that the sum of n natural numbers is equal to n over 2 times n plus 1. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to derive this. But in this video, we're going to take a different approach and try and prove it. So what we can do is we can express r as a half times r times r plus 1 minus r times r minus 1. And if we expand all these brackets out, we're just going to get back to r. So now we need to sub it back in. So the sum of the series from r equals 1 to n of r equals a half times the sum of the series from r equals 1 to n of all of this stuff. So r times r plus 1 minus r times r minus 1. So what we're going to do now is call the method of differences. This is what we call it in the UK. In America, I think they call it a collapsing series. And you're going to see why. So what we do is we take values of r. So we plug in values and see what it gives us. So r equals 1. So we get half times so 1 times 1 plus 1. So 1 times 2, which equals 2. And then 1 times 1 minus 1. So it's going to equal 0. And second term, set so half, 2 times 2 plus 1, so 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. And then 2 times 2 minus 1, so 2 times 1, which is 2. And r equals 3, a half times 3 times 3 plus 1, so 3 times 4, which is 12, minus 3 times 3 minus 1, so 3 times 2, which is 6. And I'll just do the amp term. So a half times n times n plus 1 minus n times n minus 1. So the reason it's called a collapsing series is, as you can see, these terms are going to cancel out. So 2s cancel out, 6s cancel out, 12s, and this is going to run for the whole series. So you can see the, this term here is going to cancel this term of the next um, iteration. So what are we left with? Left with the zero from the start and this term, this bit right here at the end. So this is the result of this series. So zero obviously comes to nothing and this is essentially the sum of the series. So this is the answer. So the sum of the series from r equals one to n of r equals n over two times n plus 1. So there you go, we've proved what we set out to prove. And this formula is correct.